All right, since you, you know what I'm saying, you said that you, you, you're very humble. You appreciate the love that you get. What song you think got you that, that look? You know what I'm saying? That was like, oh shit. Was it the shell? Or which one, in your personal opinion, you think was like, okay, that's a hit? I don't know. It could be shell, Kohan. Um, that's hard to say. It's like picking kids. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to say, though, because people come up to me or tweet about different songs. You feel me? But it could be shell. Definitely. You know? Do you think social media um, play a huge part of your success? Uh, yeah, even though it's low. I like it low, but I get genuine, like, you know, feedback, all positive feedback. I don't have no negative feedback or nothing. Mm. Since, you, since you say you grew up listening to 3 Six Mafia, um, who else did you grow up listening to? Uh, Cash Money, uh, Master P. Shit. Uh, well, then you know how I be like half fake singing and shit sometimes. That probably come from uh, my OG used to play like shot a lot and all that uh, all that smooth jazz shit that you know used to get on my nerve back then, but it actually sound good. Mm. So you know I hear I hear a beat now. And I might mix in some some slight singing or something like that, and then people follow that too. Yeah, they so do. They I do appreciate that. Is it safe to say valet is the new wave for the city of Chicago? I don't know. I'm so humble. I don't even be saying that. Oh man, you feel me? I don't even be saying it. I just do music. Mm. You feel me? Like it, it. Most people might say that, but. I, I don't be saying that. I just focus on doing the music, you feel me? Because it's a whole bigger picture, you feel me? Like I said, I ain't, I ain't never think I'd be rapping, you feel me? But I do a lot of shit, you feel me? Now, earlier you was telling me before the cameras was rolling, you said that she was just, you cooked up the beat yourself. Yeah, Shell. I, I made the beat in my kitchen in front of the refrigerator. Made the beat. Recorded myself right there, bounced it out, emailed it to myself, and that's what gets spent on the radio. You know, Rio mix and mastered it, Rio Mac right here. Mm. So that's what get played on the radio and sent out, and that's what's on Spotify and everything. So that's a good feeling. It's a great feeling. Yeah, that's a good feeling. Um, Definitely. do you ever think about? I know you get a lot of offers from from the labels and different artists, do you ever think about signing or you want to stay independent? No, I, I want to stay independent. Definitely because uh, I just, you know, I don't really see a reason to sign unless somebody coming with with the right like ticket, mm -hmm. really. That's what's most important. Not, not really most important the money, but it's just, it's got to be the right financial jump you feel me, to, to make a change and ask for help for a label. You feel me? It's got to not even really feel like help. It's got to be like me, me, halfway if that, you know. So. It makes sense. You know, back in the day, you know what I'm saying, in the cash money, 3-6 Mafia, No Limit days, you know what I'm saying, everybody was looking for a deal. They were striving for a deal. Mm -hmm. See, right now, since you got the chance with the little Yachty's, the Kevin Gates, everybody's taking an independent approach. Why is it? Do you feel like with social media being as big as it is, you don't even need a label for anything right now once you got your, your own following? Yeah, you do this shit yourself. Mm. You know? Uh, you don't have to... Uh, you don't have to uh, go to the labels and ask for help. You, feel me? You, can, you can really just do this shit yourself if it's what, if it's what you love to do. Just do it yourself until you shit start getting paid for it. That's a fact. What Chicago artist Valet listen to when he in Chicago? Did you stay going a lot? Who do I listen to? Yeah. I listen to everybody really. I always check out everybody new music. You feel me? Like I say everybody, I mean everybody. I got like twenty five names. Mm. You feel me? But everybody. Like, everybody. So you support the city without a doubt? 
Yeah, I support the city. With all of the the negativity that Chicago's looked upon, you know what I'm saying, the Chirac is bad. Is it is it really a bad place to you, or you feel the media just blowed out of proportion? Uh, they they might they might blow blow stuff out of proportion, but you know a lot of shit, a lot of fucked up shit does happen. Strong ass wing. A lot of fucked up shit does happen. You feel me? But you know, I just pray that you know it don't be people close to me. But a lot of times I know the person or or you know people who fucked up shit is happening to in the city. But you know just. You gotta be strong and look past that and you know and just keep working and I just be hoping people stay out the way. You feel me? But it is, you know. Sad to say it is what it is, you know. Mm. You gotta be like definitely careful in the city. Definitely. You without know? a doubt. Without a doubt. You stated early that, you know what I'm saying, hopefully in the future you and La La Yadi collaborate on, on a project, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a song, I should say. Who else, you know what I'm saying, you're looking forward to working with? Uh, everybody. Everybody. You're not picky whatsoever. Not, not, not everybody, but like, you know, the, the great people I looked up to, like, uh, I played a lot of 2 chains as well. For real? I mean, like, his, his beginning mixtapes, all of that, all the, the Trapper Bellies and uh, all that, everything, you feel me? So, I would will, I will love to work with him, you know, Cap One, that's my boy. Um, we we're gonna be doing some work probably like this week hopefully. Mm. So, you know, uh, Hood Rich, uh, Pablo Juan, Hood Rich Peso, uh, mm. Joe Rich, Hector. You feel me? Them, them my peoples too in Atlanta. They uh they fuck with me and show me love. So, we got some work. I got I got a song called Twenty Six Inch Forgiados with Pablo Juan, Hood Rich Pablo Juan, and I made that beat. And he showed me love and, and fuck with me. And me and Peso got a song too called Hip Fo. And Chase the Money made that beat. So, you know, people really fuck with those songs. So I appreciate that. Oh, that's super, super dope, man. Um, On the fashion sense, man, you know, I don't know if you're a guest wearing undershirts or whatnot. But, <laughs> nah, but on the, you know, the videos, you, don't, you know, you ain't really with that. And you know, you stand some. Some designer flip flops, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's what's up with that? Is that your your own style or like where that come from? You just want to be comfortable? Uh, really, I'm real picky, so I'm the type of nigga. You know, I go downtown right now and go to six designer stores, and I might see one shoe that I like. Mm. So, really, a lot of these companies, high end companies, whack as hell on the designer side. So. I had to turn the flip flops because I started running out of shoes to wear. Damn. And I wasn't buying no new shoes, so I really just started buying flip flops. Then I do stupid shit like leave my car unlocked, niggas stealing my flip flops out the car. Mm -hmm. So I gotta rebuy the flip flops. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. So out of the flip flops, the Javinci's, the Gucci's, the Louis's, the Coach, like which one your favorite pair that you like? I fuck with these. I like these Givenchy uh, slides. I got these and the ones with the like red, but they the most comfortable. I could perform in them. Hold up, would you perform in some flip flops for real? Oh uh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. All the time. All the time. I don't. I don't remember. Oh, uh, I performed in some shoes at the uh, on the van stage in Austin, Texas, a couple months ago. And I did, and that's because I, I love Vans and I love their support. So uh, they got some cool sneakers. So I rocked some red Vans, mm -hmm. and that was it. Other than that, it's always slides. So you call you don't call them flip flops. You call them slides. Slides. That's okay. I I, I gotta give me some more some Louis Vuitton slides, man. Some Givenchy yeah. slides. How much Givenchy run? Four hundred. Uh, yeah. Uh, Two ninety five. Damn, that's expensive for some slides, man. It's not bad. It's half the price of these uh, whack ass shoes they create. You ain't never lying. You you so. never been a Timberland, Air Force One fan, Mike? 
No, the team's too heavy. Okay. I'll be damn tired of walking. Mm. <laughs> oh, shit. But, uh, shit. And, you know, them bitches heavy. And it don't take all that uh, to have something on your feet. But other than that, uh, Jordan, I, I fuck with Jordans, but I never really bought Jordans. Mm. Cause there's some more of them bitches coming out next week. I hate that. That's why I don't rock yeah, mics. They come out too quick. <laughs> too quick. Sense. That's that's ridiculous, man. Buy that shit. Two weeks later, them bitches old. That's man, crazy. That's that. It's hard keeping up with the mic. <laughs> mm -hmm. 2017 is here. We know we four months into the year. Um, summer is two months away. What's next? Another project? More videos? Cameos? Yeah, I got a 1988 mixtape dropping this week. With uh, DJ Bands. Mm. And there's some production on there from uh, myself, Chase the Money, and, and Rio, Rio Mac. Okay. Definitely. So uh, that's going to be dope as hell, though. How many tracks? Uh, probably 10 or 11. Yeah, something like probably 11. Any features? Uh, yeah, we got uh, Pablo Juan and Blueberry Peso, and we got a. Uh, hmm, I forgot who else. That might be. That might be it for this one. And what should we expect from this one? Cause every mixtape has a different vibe. What should we expect from this 1988? This one just, uh, like, uh, kind of trappy. I don't know. I gotta hear some of the songs again, but. Hey, I think people will fuck with it though. And I'm I'm guessing 1988. You came up with the title from the year you was born, correct? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And it was just it seemed perfect. Just, <coughs> just that type shit. And then I was going with these flows that was like kind of from '88 type shit. So mixing it with my own. So I figure I call it mixtape 1988. Mm. And put some of these uh, old, new ass trappy flows on that. Man, yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Man. I ain't hear nobody doing it really. And valet, before we got here, the name valet is it, it, it's it's not really spelled the way it's pronounced. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was gonna be spelled like valet and somewhat. Like where you come up with that from? No, nah, that's my real name. Valet. Mm -hmm. Government. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Uh, Never really liked it, but everybody else liked it. French teacher, library teachers and shit like it, cause I, I that's when I learned it was French. But yeah. What does it mean? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Not now. Um, I just said she uh she wanted my name to be something different. Nobody had. She might have did a good job. She might have fucked up right there, cause I can't really do nothing wrong. Mm. You feel me? Did something wrong a couple times, and you know they on they on my ass. That is the only fucking name, you know, on their desk. Let's take care of this uh this valet guy. So you know, I just stay out the way, <laughs> do my music, and live productive in society, man. What's up with all the tests, man? All the tests. You got tests on the hand, the arm, the chest, the back, the face, the neck. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it, I don't know if I like pain or what, but started just wanting uh, tattoos, you know, and started I started tattooing myself too. Like you know, I went and bought the equipment. I started doing tattoos. I, was, you know, I'm great at it, but um, you know, I don't have the patience mm -hmm. to have clients all day, you know, because like. Some people I, I fuck with like uh, Four and Black Ink, you know, Van Tats and Cat and Ryan Henry, you know, they're my people. So I would see they do beautiful work, but you know, they put in the dedication and the time for that beautiful work. It's, you know, six, seven hour pieces. Mm. So, and me, I want to be free and do music and speed and shit. What's one of your, your, your dopest tests you have that meant a lot to you? Uh, this one on my son. 
Ford did it. He woke me up one day at like nine in the morning. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, yo, come to the shop. This is before the, the TV show and everything. And he said, come to the shop. I got something to show you. I get to the shop. And it's a picture of my son. I took the picture at my crib of my son on the piano. And so I put that on my Instagram page. And when I got to the shop, it was that picture. And he had it already printed out and traced out. And he like, yeah, so I'm thinking, put Gigi ass right here. And he just slapped it right there. And I'm like, bro, that bitch raw as hell. Mm -hmm. And I, that's it. And this is my, my favorite fucking tattoo. Wow. Nailed it. That's dope, man. Shout out to Fort, man. That's yeah, my boy. Definitely. That's my boy. Definitely. Man, please, shout out your social media. So we need these people, everybody out there on the internet to follow you right now. Yeah, you can follow me at One Real Valet. That's the number, you know, just number one. R-E-A-L-V-A-L-E-E. -E. And uh, same thing on Twitter. And I'm gonna snap you know why not bro that's you know that's huge i know but my shit will be dry oh. <laughs> i don't be doing nothing but i'll be with my kid you know uh shit with the og doing music you know but i mean you know i might i might i might fuck fuck one give me a snap but i don't like starting off from scratch so right Maybe I get a, maybe I get up there a little bit more. I might just give me a snap or something. Say follow my shit. Mm. I might be feeling like showing every fucking thing I do. That's another thing. I'm not a fan of showing everywhere I'm at. Oh yeah, especially coming from Chicago, huh? Yeah, you get your fuckers up killed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, that's, that's true. For no reason. <laughs> oh, that nigga had the W. I ain't got time for that. I feel you on that, brother. So the Instagram is one real valet and at Twitter. Uh huh. Same thing on Twitter. Same thing. Uh huh. Man, that's what's up, brother. Man, you let us inside your studio session. Shout out to you. Shout out to Real Mac. You let us inside of your life a little bit. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, super dope interview. Please shout out Zach TV, man. Yeah, man. Shout out Zach TV. You know, one more time. Shout out Zach TV again. You feel me? We posted this a year and some change ago, I, man. I know. Like for real. I know. Yeah, but. You know. What's saying better than that, right? Yeah. It's all love, though. Every time I bump into you, you know, the love is there. It's genuine. So I knew it was overdue. I knew he was going to get one in. Well, that's what's up, appreciate man. Appreciate it, though. No, I appreciate you, brother. Stay yeah, on your yeah. grind, man. You already know. One for late, 1988, dropping this week, baby. Yeah. Yeah. On live mixtapes, my mixtapes? My mixtapes, uh, I think, uh, Noisy. Okay. It's going to do something with it. And, you know... It's a lot of places I know. Complex fuck with me and, and shout out Fader and uh, Hip Hop Weekly. Okay. Um, fuck with me. So we, you know, I'm just gonna put it out there and see how the how the people take it. Cause I got I got a lot more music coming. I got uh, Chase the Money uh, mixtape coming out at the end of May or early June. That's gonna be dope. So you know, I got I got a lot a lot more music. Oh, and if a person just just say that they're not. As intelligent, and they don't know how to spell your name. It's V A L L E E. No, it's V A L E E. Okay, one L. Uh huh, one L. And you know, you go, my page is, is one real valet. You know, one R E A L V A L E E. That's it, brother. You take care, stay blessed. All right, you too, bro.